Kids today are addicted to short form videos, whether that's YouTube or TikTok, these little 30 second to 60 second clips that seems to draw and hold their attention. So of course, ed tech comes on board and says, well, if that's what they're doing outside of the classroom, then surely that's what they should be doing inside the classroom. And they call their short form videos things like micro learning, learning sprints, bite sized lessons. If you ever heard these terms, that's ed tech trying to make learning match what kids want to do outside of school. Now, the researchers in this paper did two studies. The first was just a survey of kids asking them about their short form video habits. How many short videos do you watch a week? Do you do like an hour a day, two hours a day? What do you do? And after that survey, they then gave everyone the German test battery for rational thinking skills. And what did these researchers find? When they compared short form video use to rational thinking, the two correlated at negative 0.26. That means approximately 13% of variation in rational thinking can be traced back to how often do kids watch these short form videos at home on their own time. So already we're starting to see bleed. Your practices at home will bleed into your ability to think rationally, think deeply in an educational setting.